Hey, what is up you guys? I am here today with my Black Friday haul. I did not get everything in yet. There's a couple things that I'm still missing. I'm waiting for it to come to the mail. But all the major things I have are with me today. And it's actually not a lot. Um, so this video is not going to be that long, I promise. But today marks my first day of Vlogmas day one and two. So I'm doing, I believe it's 12 days of Vlogmas. So basically I'm going to upload every two days and then one day we'll have a third day. Just because I don't think my life's that interesting enough for me to vlog every single day, honestly. So I think if I do two together, it might have a little bit more you know things in the video so today we're going to start off with the black friday haul and i apologize guys i should have probably filmed this maybe a little bit earlier so now you can so then you would be able to react on getting the items but that is probably something i will remember for next year however this year i started shopping a little bit early so i, I guess i could have had mentioned it sorry sorry guys sorry all the items that i'm talking about today will be listed down below in the description box but let's get started and it's just going to be random whatever is in my face i will show it to you guys so one of the first things got, that i had gotten is this throw that um it, it is in a beautiful houndstooth and you know houndstooth is the trending pattern for the last few weeks i have gotten it from target they had like a special um on their app where if you spent x amount you got a discount off so i'm still waiting for one more piece from them it's just gorgeous i've already used it because i was freezing yesterday um but it is absolutely gorgeous it is i will insert the dimensions below if the website still has it but this is such a great throw i had bought this and i think it was only about like 20 dollars but anywho i had bought it because i wanted a throw for my um dressing room here it does get a little bit chilly and maybe when i set up my new i'm trying to do a new filming area so it's not going to be here anymore maybe i'll do some here still but it's going to be in a different location what a great friend from target.com next i got here is from nordstrom i do not know how it fits so hopefully it fits and is amazing in person so i have gotten let's tuck this in so I had gotten this red Valentino lace V shirt. Um, the details on this first impression is amazing. Um, I feel like this will dress up a lot of bottoms that I do have. And hopefully it fits. It looks like it, you know how I like my oversized fit. So this is probably going to be something that's a little bit more closer to the skin. But the lacing and the quality is really cute on this uh, another concerning thing is that it is short since i am tall and longer it might look i don't know we'll see but if it is cute i will definitely show it to you guys but i got this for a steal from nordstrom i think it was on sale for i think 178 dollars down from about 350 so i just thought this was real cute um, and then it wasn't exactly a sale. However, my local Uniqlo had um, released the Uniqlo Dragon Ball collection. And I did have an email that the website from the regular Uniqlo had sent because they were selling it already. However, if you bought every two pieces of Dragon Ball items that you had bought, you're able to get a free Dragon Ball poster. So the poster comes in a box like this here. And I got two because I bought four pieces. So it the post the calendar looks like so so if you are a dragon ball fan you know that this is a spirit bomb and then the spirit bomb has all the characters well not all of them but a lot of the main characters in here so this is actually kind of cool i've never been a poster kind of gal um so we will see i mean if maybe behind the door where i don't really see it might work out 
but it is such a cool poster it's such a cool piece of art so I, I might consider it we'll see so to get those things um, I had purchased one this is the main item that I needed to get and it is the master Roshi peach pink dusty pink colored hoodie and I don't really buy too much hoodies guys especially pullover hoodies I'm if I'm going to I'm gonna buy a zipper one since I'm going on a trip and it's going to be cold I justified it and I bought it in a size where my husband and I can wear it um since I do love my stuff oversized but if you look at it and if you watch Dragon Ball it is hilarious Master Roshi with the bloody nose it's hilarious there's no design on the back but it's extremely comfortable unique little pieces are very well made I am a huge fan of Uniqlo so if you ever see one I'd definitely try and shop it because they are amazing quality and then um, I got so the calendar had um, the spirit bomb so I got the shirt with the spirit bomb and it only comes in white and then the fr it has a front pocket as well that has the embroidered dragon ball on it I love this shirt so much and then my husband wanted two shirts as well so he thinks that the fusion um for the two the trunks and the goten is cute so he got the he got these two shirts here and it's a fusion shirt it's just funny it is it's so hilarious and i want to say if you have kids too the kid stuff is really cute i feel like the kid stuff the colorways are cute and the patterns are cute as well so check that out um but that's what if that's why we got to the posters and if you spent over 75 dollars they gave you a free mug you could pick between a mug and a bowl so y'all know i picked the mug because i'm now a crazy coffee drinking lady i used to before and then i took a long break but now i'm at it again so it's just this regular mug that says unique low on it um i know this is something that they have company-wide because i've seen them um giving it away in japan as well um but their unique lows are like supercharged and different there but that is what we got from unique low I had to make sure so the pants that I love from Zara that I bought recently and I bought them in all the colors I had went before Black Friday to kind of scout out to see where everything was so when Black Friday hit I knew where to go and grab the items that I wanted so I wanted to re-up on the pants especially in black and and the khaki color so when I got there we did not go when the mall opened which was at 6 o'clock we went maybe about 11 12 o'clock in the afternoon and when I went there they were where I initially had seen them they were gone so I was like okay knowing people who shop knowing people I've been in retail for so long I know exactly how it works I stayed within that vicinity and I looked for it so literally jumped from one rack to the next and I found them in my size unfortunately there wasn't more but basically I got two of them for the price of one so I did find a black one that was the major, 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 major one that I needed. Um, and I was lucky enough to find also the khaki. These are the two of my favorite colors out of all of the four. However, I would eventually probably want to get more. But of course, I went with the two solid ones. And if they ever go on a lower discount, I'm probably going to hit them up as well and just have a little on the side. So if something happens to them, I'm like Simpsoning it. Like wearing the same thing over and over and over again like these pants have been freaking amazing as far as travel and the fit i love it and they're my current obsession because current i'm not wearing denim right now i don't know why i think it's probably because it's the weather in hawaii it's kind of hot i only wear denim maybe outside of hawaii but these i definitely love and some and then finishing up like i said this video was extremely short um i went to anthropology their entire store is 30 percent off so they came out with this new um rose rose hand cream with vitamin e i had tried it out and i really liked it and since the whole store was 30 percent off that's probably the best discount you will get from mario badescu however i am already really stocked on a lot of the facial things that i do use so i just got this because this was such a good deal it's 18 dollars, and then you get the 30 percent off on that 
I got this mainly for travel purposes. So this I also got from Anthropology. It is the Tweezerman Holographic Metallic Collection. So it comes with the tweezer with the slant angle and the pointed angle. I do have both of these that I've had for a really long time. However, I bought this for traveling reasons because it comes with the case as well. And then, of course, I had to buy this. Okay. I said it time and time and time again I am a now corgi obsessed mom and of course I mean it's a boy version his name is Quincy but it's this really 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 cute corgi plate on it and it's Quincy who loves vigorous fetching which is my Millie has never been to Italy but would like to go there someday I wish and always keeps promises if I had to make a Millie version plate and a description of her. Three things that I would write about her is she's a concerned pup. So for example, I had also posted it on my Instagram. If I still have it, I will share it here. But for example, if you were to sneeze, she'll drop everything she's doing. Achoo! I'm okay, baby. Thank you. And she will come and check up on you. Like she will run to you and she'll look at you in the face, make sure you're okay. And I actually did that prank with her where I pretended that I died. I don't know if that's probably the worst thing to say, but that is the thing. I tried it and she was very concerned. She was like licking my face, nudging my face. So I'd write that she's very concerned. I would also like to write that she has big ears for nothing, so she doesn't really listen. Um, she listens on her own terms. So if she's overly excited with treats or people, she knows no commands whatsoever. And the last thing is that she just loves to be included. She doesn't like when you laugh at her. She'll attack you if you laugh at her. But she likes to be included. So if you know she loves to follow you around if for example if me and my husband hug she wants to be a part of that hug she's that was those would be three things that i would write about millie if i was to make a little cute plate like this i really don't know what i'm going to use this for maybe i'll put jewelry or something on it but i just think it is absolutely absolutely super super cute the last thing is it the last thing oh and if you shop at anthropology there they i guess they give you little ornaments so this year's ornament is this really cute sheep it is actually a really great looking ornament i think it's it's very much up anthropology's alley with the their whole trend so i think it's absolutely cute but of course i couldn't couldn't leave out a luxury piece i do have i guess you can call it one coming in the mail soon so you'll see that in another video um in another vlogmas video this is something i've never done before so much videos in a short amount of time so i have gotten this piece here and it is a pair of shoes from prada i got them from neiman marcus and i have no words for it i think they're absolutely stunning and beautiful so let me show it to you all well, it's i've already checked it out just to make sure everything was okay um, but it, it came wrapped this way and it came wrapped really nicely. I might actually wear them today. Um, I have to run some errands today. But look at these cro mock croc crocodile mules. Um, they are so pretty. I just love it. And I am tall, so kitty heels are actually my favorite. But look how beautiful these mules are it even has a very substantial little heel as i believe these retailed somewhere around 800 dollars, and i was able to get them on sale for half off from neiman marcus so that was a great find if you guys do not have rakuten i will leave my link below you should definitely definitely sign up because i was able to get i believe it was 10 percent cash back at that time I don't even remember if I bought something from Saks Fifth Avenue, but um, Saks Fifth had like a 16% cash back. 
Another thing that I'm waiting on, I don't know if I'm going to show it to you guys, maybe, maybe not, but I got a Furbo camera for my Millie so we can throw treats to her if, you know, we're not home or whatever. So that was like a 40% and then with the Rakuten, you got like 5% cash back. So, um, uh, yeah, definitely do it. It's free money, guys. So I will link that below. But otherwise, that, guys, that is my first part of my Black Friday haul. Um, again, I apologize for not getting it out before Black Friday. However, some of these things might still be on sale. And yeah, that's it. If you guys already haven't checked me out on Instagram, please do. I do update that much more frequently as I say, as I say in every single video. And if you haven't already subscribed and liked, please do. And now starts the vlog. Good morning, y'all. It is time for coffee. So I have been taking quite a pride on making coffee. I don't know what it is, but it's just hilarious to me. And I am going to, what is this? Double espresso. Yeah, I am going to do a double espresso today. And I gotta say, this Nespresso is probably one of the best investments I have ever done. So while that's going, um, I'm going to get my creamer and stuff ready in the frother. Some of my pods like here in this honey dukes that i got from universal studios like this past may i really want to go back i love universal for the creamer i'm going to use the last parts of or the last bits of this pumpkin sky pumpkin spice latte which is freaking amazing and i'm gonna mix it a little bit with just regular milk so there is lines on the inside but i'm able to eyeball it a little bit so i covered a little spool there oh. And I still have a little bit left. And I put in just a little milk to fill over. And it's just gonna, I'm just going to froth it up. I got these Mickey cookies when I went to Disney Sea in October. Hey guys, I just finished filming my Black Friday part one video and that's going to be a part of this vlog. You probably have already seen it if you've made it this far. Uh, happy Sunday guys. It is the 1st of December and we're just running errands today. We have to go and pick up some of Millie's medication so we're going to the vet. Um, and I think that's all. I have 
three advent calendars that I am going to open today since it is the first of December. So I have a Godiva one that I started doing since yes, uh, since last year. And I have a Funko Pop Harry Potter one. And I also have a Lego Harry Potter one as well. Hi, Millie. So I'm gonna open these. Millie! Okay, let's open this one first. She, this is not for you, Millows. Hi, this is not for you. What? This is not for you, Mingy. What are you smelling it for? It's not for you, I said. God, can I even open this or what? Millie, why are you so interested? It's not for you. Oh, you actually do have your own advent calendar. I forgot. So Millie has her own advent calendar. Let me grab it. Right here, baby. So it is a 24 days full of magic. And this is from Target. So they're little cookies. So let's open up one for her. She ate her dinner like a good girl. Millie, we're gonna open day one. That's this one, okay? So let's open this one. Well, look at that, Millie. It's a cookie. Here, Mama, grab it for you. Here you go, baby. And she's off. She just usually ditches me every time she gets a treat. <laughs> so we will do a Millie one every day, too. Hopefully, she thinks that she doesn't get all of it in one shot. Okay, so after 10 years of trying to open it, we're going to open the first one, which is this here. And who is it? Oh, we got Harry and his Christmas. Did she eat her cookie? No, she didn't eat it yet. And his Christmas sweater that um, Miss Weasley made for him. So it looks like so. Oh, I have to build it. Cute. I'm going to put it with my Hogwarts Lego castle. So that's for day one. Awesome. And then we're going to open this fun co pop. Okay, and it looks like so. Wow. This looks awesome. So we're going to open the first one here. Oops, not the second one. And cute, even this one, the first day is a little hairy. And this is when he went to the, the what is that, a winter dance in the, which is my favorite one. What is that one called? The, not half-blooded print. Huh? Oh yeah, the Goblet of Fire. That was actually my favorite one out of the whole series. That's cool. And then the last one, which is probably the best one in my opinion. It's the Godiva one. Okay, so we're looking for the first. And they could have done, I think, the numbering better. I mean, it looks cool, but where's the first one? And they're never in order. So 3, 9, 19, 11, 22, 4, 10, 2, 18, 7, 20, 15, 8, 14, 1. Okay, so this door is 1. Oh, cool. Okay, let's see what it is. What kind of chocolate is this? It's just a caramel. Yum. 